Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video we will see 12 homemade CNC plotter designs that you can try. So, let's get started. This is a portable portrait painter. It has an OV7670 camera, working with an Arduino, that takes a photo and draws it. When the user presses a button, it captures the current frame and sends it to the pen plotter. The image is first processed with histogram compensation to maximize contrast. The pen is then pressed into the page which draws the image line by line. Our servo motor along with the gear mechanism presses the pen, depending on the color value of each pixel. That means, if there is a darker pixel, the pen will make a thicker stroke. This approach produces a much more detailed image than more basic plotters, which either leave a mark or don't. This CNC machine features a writing head that extends beyond the machine, making it possible to draw on objects bigger than the machine itself. The biggest advantage of the machine is that it can be placed over a book because of the core XY extension. The X axis requires two 450 mm linear rods, while the Y axis requires two 350 mm linear rods. Rubber mallets at the end provide support to both axes. The Z axis requires 3 mm linear rods and some 3D printed parts. The pen mechanism is controlled via our servo motor. This unique design strategy gives the plotter to print easily on most flat surfaces. It can write with different types of pens and come in handy for a variety of applications. This is an inexpensive and precise CNC machine. It accurately engraves wood and even cuts acrylic. The frame of this CNC router is made of 10 mm plywood. All axes move on 3D printed linear rails, which runs pretty smooth. For the movement, it uses 28 BYJ48 stepper motors, which makes the machine slow, but the slow speed does not compromise precision. For the spindle, it uses a 775 motor, which is a good option if you want to engrave wood and plastic. But, don't try to test this machine by cutting metal. The motors are controlled with an Arduino Uno and a GRBL shield, with three A4988 stepper drivers, which are secured at the back of the machine with some screws. This is a puzzle pipe CNC plotter. The frame of this plotter is built using PVC pipes. It is called puzzle pipe CNC because the pipes fit together in a logical way. The CNC has a working range of 380mm on the X as well as the Y axis, and 6mm on the Z axis. The plate at the bottom of the machine glides across the Y axis, via a pair of aluminum rods and a set of bearings, whereas the perpendicularly placed X axis is stationary. It moves in a similar manner using one stepper motor placed to the side. Another stepper motor manipulates the Z axis vertically. It has a pipe that contains a pen fitted with a spring mechanism. Using Engraver Master you can write a text or load an image and convert it to a G code. All the projects discussed in this video are miniature models of a CNC. But, if you have an actual CNC machine, and you are thinking to make a controller for it, then you must try this CNC controller, made using a Raspberry Pi. The 1986 Cortini CNC mill consists of three motor drivers, each one dedicated to one axis movement. Each of these drivers is controlled via a step pin and a direction pin. The process of finding the needed pins is time-consuming, as the series of pins on each board needed to be mapped. After completion, the motors need to be wired to the Raspberry Pi. It is mounted along with a GRBL controller to a laser cut base and placed into the mill, which brings an old CNC machine back to life. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. If you want to take the traditional plotters to a next level, then you must try the dual axis plotter. This plotter can simultaneously draw two images at a time. The frame of this plotter is made from PVC pipes, while the supports are made of acrylic sheets. It has a working range of 320 mm on the X axis and 350 mm on the Y axis. This plotter requires four stepper motors and four A4988 motor drivers to run them. With a pen at each end of the Z axis, it can draw two identical images or texts at the same time. Now, only thing left is to upload a G code and translate it into motor movements. 
It's a very high performance mechanism and with a proper build, you can get excellent precision. This project uses a 1 watt 445 nanometer laser module. So, before trying this one, make sure to take the necessary precautions. The project requires two DVD writer mechanisms, one for X-axis and another one for Y-axis. The control part consists of an Arduino and a CNC shield with a 4988 motor drivers. The stepper motor is controlled with just two pins from the controller, one for controlling the rotation direction and the other for controlling the steps. The motor driver has a built-in micro-stepping control, meaning that instead of using full steps or half steps like a large CNC would do, we can make the motors move by 1 16th or 1 32nd of a step to make the laser move with the maximal precision possible. However, the motors will consume more electricity and their temperature will rise quicker. Normally a plotter works in a 3 coordinate system, but with a pair of printer rollers subbed in for the Y axis, this plotter has the freedom to move in an additional direction. The hardware is controlled by GRBL, running on an Arduino Uno, kitted out with a CNC shield to handle the necessary I.O. Two NEMA 17 steppers near the base of the rig turn in tandem to spin the bottle for marking. The bottle rolls in coordination with an XZ gantry system on top, decorating it with whatever text or drawings are programmed. X and Z actuation is handled by a couple of old DVD players, which are connected at 90 degrees to each other. If you love compact designs for CNCs, then you will love this one. To make this plotter you will require two DVD writers. Extract the motors and other moving parts necessary for the CNC machine. The slider of the X and Y axis are placed perpendicular to each other. A cut wood piece is placed above it, that acts as the working bed. The pen holding mechanism is made using 3D printed parts. Our servo and spring system work together to lift the pen on the Z axis. The CNC shield holds two A4988 stepper motor drivers and an Arduino Nano. It also has a digital I.O. interface and I2C interface, by which other modules can be connected. Uploading the hex file to the software lets you draw any shape or text on a flat surface. You might have seen many plotters and other motion machines, but this one is one of the simplest among them. With some 3D printed pulleys and a simple core XY arrangement, you can build this one in no time. Two servo motors on the top of the wooden board move the pen mechanism in horizontal and vertical directions, thus covering the 2D plane. The pen holder uses an RC servo to lift the whole pen off the sheet easily. With the hardware ready, now you can install the firmware on the board. After uploading the code, the plotter is ready to draw your favorite designs on a piece of paper. So, how will you rate this plotter on a scale of 10? Tell us in the comments. What happens when you combine a Raspberry Pi, an Intel RealSense depth camera, a CNC machine, and some clever programming? The answer is right in front of your eyes. This project is digital daguerreotype and it can draw any image or pattern with one line at a time. It uses a digital camera to capture an image when the user presses the start button. It then uses a Raspberry Pi to convert that picture to a drawing made using a single continuous line, known as traveling salesman problem art. When the user presses the draw button, it outputs that drawing as G-code to a CNC machine, which draws it onto paper. This is another portable CNC plotter, made using several PVC pieces and a couple of motors. The plotter resembles a quadruped robot that has an Arduino Uno and a CNC shield at its heart. It takes incoming G-code and translates it into motor movements. The X-axis consists of a single NEMA 17 stepper motor that actuates a threaded rod to slide the rest of the device along a path. A central PVC assembly holds both the threaded and smooth rods for both the X and Y axes. The Z-axis is made from a linear gliding mechanism from a CD player that allows the pen to move with great precision. A set of three A4988 stepper motor driver modules provide the current to both the NEMA 17 motors and CD drive components. If you loved these CNC plotter designs, then drop a like and comment your favorite one. Subscribe to our channel for more such amazing videos. Feel free to share your project ideas with us. Thanks for watching.